going to actually put my screen into presentation mode and we going to go. All right. All right. Well, once again, welcome to the closing keynote of GrimCon. Give it up for yourselves. Ow! Yep, yep. <laughs> um, my name is uh, Charles Shearer. I go by the name of BSD Bandit on Twitter. Um, if you if you're on Twitter, um, I don't know how many people are on Twitter or off Twitter, but um, you could definitely find me there. I practically live there. I only come out into the physical world for air. So the title of my talk today is "Beauty of the Bald: Breaking Back into the Future: A New Outlook on Infosec." And I'll tell you why. And as I go through this talk today, I'll tell you why I named it this title. I gave it this kind of like out of the way title because it kind of matches my personality it matches what i'm about and let's get into it so just wanted to say hey a little bit about myself so um graduated college in 2003 oh my goodness oh we're, we're coming up on 20 years i feel um a huge retro person so this is where the the beauty of the bod comes in because it was at a time where I started in the industry where there were modems and the, the screens, the internet looked very different back then, right? Um, I have eight over, I have 18 years of experience in tech alone. The last eight of those years have been in security with a combination of um, web app pen testing, um, security engineering, um, threat hunting. So I've done various different roles. Um, also have a, Penetration testing distribution that I, I like working on in my spare time, which that's that's my little baby right there. It's um sec BSD penetration testing distro. Um sec PSD is more so kind of it's kind of similar to like Kali Linux, but it's just for the BSD side of the house since the the BSD users, um, as my friend likes to tell me, all 10 of us um actually wanted something like that for the, the BSD community so they can do pen testing from BSD distros. It's still in the work. We've ported a lot of different tools, but it's 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 fun. It's been a journey. Um, of course, a couple of alphabets past my name and all the other good stuff. So now back to the reason why I named it this, right? And here again, this is that's a picture from college. That's my old network, <laughs> as messy as it looks. And of course, that's the screen from um, MIRC. Um, humble beginnings. So the beauty of the BOD, when I first got into the industry, this is what the internet looked like to me. Um, I was on IRC a lot. Of, I was on IRC a lot. I was on like different like networks. I was actually a Unix um, administrator, well, PC tech, and then moved over to Unix administration, um, had a love for Solaris and a lot of older operating systems. Um, so when I first started out with that, it was just more so from a perspective where it's just like, oh my God, this is so much fun. I, if I didn't have to worry about money or anything else, this is what I want to do, right? So this is kind of like where the beauty of the bod comes in, right? So the purpose of this um, keynote, and I, I just wanted to get that out there, but the, back to the purpose of this keynote, I want you walking away from tonight's keynote or today's keynote, depending on where you are, to looking for something new in the year 2022. That's gonna be our slogan for tonight. And that's gonna be the challenge that I leave you with. So we have our humble beginnings. Now, let's get into it. So over the, past, over the course of the year, and I'm still on this journey, just like um, everyone else, um, I'm no different. Um, over the past course of the year, just been looking at the industry as a whole and how can we change things and what should an InfoSec or just a tech professional be focusing on in the next upcoming year and then some. So the first thing that I wanted to start with is our mental health. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say mental health is a is a huge thing when it especially when it comes to our industry because we have so much like facing as far as like and I don't care what side of the fence you're on whether you're blue, red, purple, a developer or whatever we all face the same struggles whether it's stress, um a lot of work hours, um just a lot of anxiety, you know, things that can affect our mental health on a day-to-day -day basis. 
And I think that it's truly important that that's something that we need to like look into and focus on, whether it's a combination of therapy. And again, once again, therapy is not for everyone, but it's definitely an option, whether it's through, and we'll get into this later, whether it's through um, exercise, which is um, something I've definitely got into, um, and eating healthier, whether it's something that's going to take your mind away from the pressures of the world that we're facing, especially now during these times in the pandemic. Um, you know, we're all confined to our homes, depending on what state you live in because of the, the new variants that's coming out. But, and that can be, that can be a taxing toll on our mental health as well too, because we're not out, we're not socializing, we're not doing the things that we're so used to doing all the time. And I think that's like truly important. So if you feel yourself, and this, and this is just something that it, it helps me through the day, whether I like man, <laughs> like managing stress and you know of course the healthy diet definitely and i say definitely and i know this works for a fact because that's how i'm able to stay like insanely energetic up oh, the secrets out a lot of sleep um at least i at least try to get eight hours of sleep um no matter when you get it but you need to get in that eight hours um for me bedtime's usually 11 o'clock if it's a little bit later, then I sleep later, but more likely it's 11 o'clock and then I'm up. And for those of you who watch um, like morning videos or whatnot, um, usually the coffee's brewing in the background. <laughs> so that's the secret, the secret's out. But um, this is very important, um, definitely mental health. Um, however you want to like attack it or address it, I'd highly, highly encourage you to address it because not only will it help you in your your daily life. It'll also help you in your work life because you'll make better you better you'll make better sound decisions. You'll see things a lot more clearer, and it'll help you solve problems a, a little bit. I won't say a little bit quicker, but a little bit more proficiently. You'll you'll look and you'll be like, oh, okay, this is what I need to do or whatnot. And you're you're making it with a clear mind. It clears your mind. And again, when it comes to our mentals, that's like the nervous system. So I'll, I'll go in tech mode for a second. You know, you have a computer, the computer, the brain of the computer is actually the CPU. So if you have, what happens when you have so many processes or so many things happening on a computer and it gets overloaded, let's say processes or anything else, and the CPU utilization goes up through the roof, the computer stops. No different than with our, with our mental health and our, our brain activity. If we're constantly being overloaded with stress or something that's affecting our mental health on a day-to-day -day basis, eventually we too will shut down just as a computer would. We're no different. Another thing we should look at, physical health. And again, physical and mental health, they kind of go, they're kind of interchangeable. They kind of go hand in hand. So with your mental, with your mental health, it's more so from your mind, your, your, your mental activity. This is more so the physical activity. Um, I, I just want to say this too, shout out to Hacking Your Health. Um, Dave Kennedy, they, um, I'm, if you haven't had a chance, definitely check out that podcast. Um, I really enjoy listening to that podcast and I definitely get a lot of tips from there. Um, I'm on the, the more so like the weight training side of the house because I, I just, I'm starting to enjoy it. I'm starting out slow and steady. So that was when the, that is what wins the race, but um, I'm enjoying it. Um, Push-ups each morning. This kind of keeps the blood flow going. This keeps my mind sharp, and it keeps me happy. So that's the key, is your happiness. And this is just a couple other things, like just benefits from exercise in general. And the reason I say this goes with mental health because it improves your, like, say if you're going through something, you had a tough day at the office, or you're going through something personally in your life. And, you know, you'd be surprised what a quick walk might do, a brisk walk, uh, maybe like just uh, some getting on a treadmill or maybe even lifting weights, uh, which is something that I enjoy doing. And then it's just something that's physical activity. Now for, the, for all the Oculus users out there, they have um, an app that allows you, I guess it's doing like shadow boxing. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I've heard some good things from other folks about it. Um, that might be another option, but just something that's going to get the blood flowing in through your heart and through your veins and just keeping you going. And again, 
once you've improved your your physical health, then it comes back to your mental health, and that helps you again make sound decisions. Because now, not only are you looking physically fit, you're feeling physically fit. Now you're starting to feel mentally fit because it kind of helps out with your your functionality and your decisions. So they kind of intertwine, intertwine. They they link together, right? Now, now that we have our physical health in check, we have our mental health in check. Here's something else that I wanted, and I've seen this this past year, this big question. How do I get into cybersecurity? And I want to I want to kill that question and leave it in 2021. And how do you do it? And it's one word, do it. And I, I know I'll probably get some feedback just saying, hey, that's easier said than done. But here's the thing, look at it from this perspective. What would, like whenever you're interested in something, whether you wanna know something, whether it's sports related, whether it's video game related, you wanna know when the latest video game comes out. The first thing you do, you look it up online. No different than when with cybersecurity as a whole in general. The key is finding a topic that you like, finding a topic that you're, you're, you're truly interested in and just go. Don't look at what everyone else is doing. Focus on your own race. And there's gonna be things that you're gonna try that you might not like, but the key is you actually tried it out. Some, pe some folks might not be into web app, but you've tried it, but it's not for you. You might have tried red teaming. That's not for you. You might have tried blue teaming or threat hunting and et cetera, et cetera. And then say, for example, you find and I'll and I'll talk about it during this talk too. Um, because this this is part of my journey as well as as everyone else's. And you found something like, oh, um, okay. For example, say if you found like web application hacking your thing, and you're like, you know what, I want to learn as much as I can about it. Go for it. Focus on that. Because again, at the end of the day, you're the one that has to be happy and passionate about something. Here's the thing. If you're not happy with something or if you're not passionate about something, how are you going to do a good job with it? It's, it's, it's just as simple. And that's where it comes back to, that goes back into your, your physical and your mental health. They're all intertwined. Because if you're doing something, and, and this could be anything in life in general. It doesn't have to be in cybersecurity. Anything in life, if you're doing something and you feel like it's a chore, you're probably not going to really try, give it your best foot forward. But if you're doing something and you feel like this is what it is, this is what I want to do, and you're passionate about it, you'll give it 110% every time, no matter what the situation is. And I, I find that to be true as uh, on my journey as well, too. So it's all about finding, and like I said, pick a topic in this case, right? So. Drum roll. The topic that I chose to pick, and these are just some of the topics here. Had to had to give you had to give you the anxiety. I've actually chose to pick cryptocurrency security. Um, I'll tell you a story about this journey here, right? So, back in Wild West Hackfest. <laughs> I was sitting in a um, a lab ran by um, Black Hill Security Daft Hack, and I was sitting in the lab and I was just looking at like like auditing smart contracts. This is something that um, I had just found out about. Of course, everybody knows about like Bitcoin and everything else and cryptocurrency as a whole, right? But I never really thought about it from the security side of the house. I never really put my time or my energy into it. So I said, okay, let me let me see what this is all about, right? So I took a look at it and I was just like, oh, this is interesting. I went through the labs, I actually tried it. Of course, um, I didn't really make it through a lot of the, I made it through the challenges, but it took me a lot longer than everyone else. And that was okay. I was perfectly fine with that because again, this is something new. I've never done it before, but I kept trying it. You know, and I'm still on that journey to to keep trying it and keep learning all that I can 
about it. So the thing is with cryptocurrency in, in general, um, I found a, a, a liking to it. Um, I started listening to CoinSec podcasts. I started listening to um, other podcasts and just kind of just really like digging through the information. Um, a lot of stuff that I don't know still, and that's okay because I'm on my own path. I'm not chasing a certification for this. This is just something that I'm truly passionate about and I'm giving it 110% of my effort. Uh, and the reason I'm telling you this story, my story, my journey, for anyone out there that might be listening, they might be into, they might be trying to figure out what it is that they like to do, or they might have found it, but don't know how to begin. And the way you begin is just jump right in, jump right in. And as I said earlier, throughout the course, throughout the this um, keynote, looking for something new in the year 2022. So what I want you to understand is this, and everybody leaving here today, whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. There's nothing stopping you. There's no, there's no lid over you. I'm telling you, and I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I'm speaking from the heart. You can get out there and do it as well. Don't quit on yourselves, please. Like I'm, 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 I'm telling you this because I, I see this a lot. I've seen this a lot in the industry. And I wanted to bring this out to the forefront today. Like, don't quit on yourself. Remember, don't give up. You get up. So this is just, and again, I'm just showing you something here from blockchain, which I'm truly passionate about, which is different things that I've learned about. And I've really, like, enjoyed it, you know, and still enjoying this. And these are just some of the crypto resources. I'm telling you about this journey because, again, there could be some out there. There could be somebody in the audience today that don't know what direction they want to go into, or they found a direction but they don't know how to begin. And this is my message to you. I just want you to just, you know, again, have a fresh new outlook. It's a new year coming up. Have a fresh new outlook. This is my new outlook on Infosec. It's just as far as like, I'm focusing on course continue focus on mental health physical health my journey on cryptocurrency because i actually picked a topic and i like it and on top of that just enjoying the process and putting it giving it my my best foot forward and and that's what i leave to you as far as like getting out there and actually going for what you want so again, in the year 2022, I want you to look for something new, which is take the brand new outlook that you have and look for something new, find your passion, find your joy, find what you're looking for. And I guarantee you find it. And here's the thing too, if you need help along the way, don't be afraid to ask for it because that's what we're all here for. We're all here to help each other. We're all here, we're all here in, this in this industry together nobody knows everything but as a collective we can we can accomplish many things together again these are a couple of my friends i just wanted to shout out i just wanted to say thank you grimcon of course um, cup, um mental health hackers um positively blue team dead pixel sec of course break it down security and hack the planet does anybody have any questions i i, I definitely want to talk to some folks <laughs>